Hi, so I've been teaching ESL for about 10 years now, and recently I decided to start making and selling my own creations. I decided to do this after not being able to find flashcards that completely satisfied my needs. For example, for number flashcards, it was surprisingly difficult to find quality flashcards that are around half A4 size. I could find really big ones and really tiny ones, but that's not what I wanted, so I made my own. I made the same version larger as well, and there will be a link below of where you can get my flashcards. But what I really want to talk about is the rationale behind my alphabet flashcards, which I've put a lot more thought into. So I've spent a lot of time looking at various free flashcards, paid flashcards, some that come from the publisher with various books and such, and they all have similar problems, some more than others. First off, some more so, you get this more so from free flashcards than paid ones, but I really don't like when I see real pictures in the flashcards. Using real pictures can be a problem because not everybody has access to a printer that is capable of reproducing the image they want. Another problem with using real images is that even if you can print it accurately, they are sometimes difficult to see from a distance. A second problem I have with a lot of the flashcards I found is that some of them have too many decorations. They're not simple enough. They could be distracting. But the third reason is most important, and that is poor word choice. It drives me nuts when I see a phonics book with words like ice cream or Iron Man to exemplify the letter I, or something like x-ray or xylophone for x. So I decided to make my own flashcards with the following criteria. First off, only simple clip art that will print well and be easily visible from a distance. Next is that all the words should be fairly simple and actually demonstrate the sound they are supposed to. Again, no x-ray or xylophone. It should be something like fox. Also, I wanted words that don't require an explanation. If I'm working with young children who don't speak my language, I want the picture to aid their comprehension, not hinder it. This was not always easy. I think the most difficult word in my set is ox. If the children ask, I simply say it's a type of cow. It's not that simple in reality, but that's the best I could do. Finally, I wanted the majority of my words to be simple nouns with simple vowel sounds as much as possible. Now, this was not always possible, and I broke that rule when I could not find a suitable alternative. For example, I have words like elephant and hippo. While these words are a little longer, and I don't like that hippo has O, not the simple ah, these words of course will be familiar to most children. And then you have letters like K. If anyone can tell me better words I can use, I will gladly update my flashcards, but um, I used kite and key because I could not think of any appropriate K words that used a short vowel sound. I could, but I didn't want to use them. I don't want to use Ken because that's a name that's kind of awkward. And the other word I don't want to say because I plan on monetizing this channel someday, but that would be K-I-L-L, -L, which would not be appropriate to use in flashcards for very young children. So there are a few other long words here like question and umbrella. But again, I try to limit it to concepts that young children should already be familiar with and words that would be important for them to know. And finally, I included a set of alternatives for a few letters, like zip instead of zipper if you prefer English pronunciation, and a few other words as well, such as goat and g-u-n, which is a perfectly fine phonics word, but some teachers may not find it appropriate or may not be allowed to use it, so it's there if you want it. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I hope you find my flashcards useful. They come in full A4 size, also half A4 size, both with the word on the same page and on the other side. Also some small picture cards, which come with a little envelope. Thank you very much. Enjoy.